In this video we're going to give you an introduction to air braking systems. For larger vehicles, even a vacuum boosted hydraulic braking system could not give the braking effort required to stop the vehicle. A hydraulic braking system works well for cars and other light vehicles, but the greater braking effort required to bring a large vehicle to a controlled stop leads to air braking systems generally being fitted to heavy and commercial vehicles. The air braking system begins with an air compressor. This is driven by the engine and provides the system with the required air under pressure. To store the compressed air we have reservoirs. These storage tanks hold the air until it is required by the system. The compressor and the reservoirs make up the charging part of the circuit. To operate the braking system the driver has two main controls. The first is a foot pedal, which the driver uses to control the service brakes, known in the air braking system as a foot control valve. The second is a hand operated lever and has a similar operation to a hand brake in a car. The driver uses this to control the secondary air that is required to overcome the power spring holding the brakes on. This control is known as the hand control valve. The foot control valve and the hand control valve make up the control part of the circuit. Finally, we have the actuators and the brakes. The actuators use air from the controls to actuate and release the brakes as required by the driver. At rest, with no air supplied to the actuators, a powerful spring provides a considerable force to the actuators, keeping the brakes applied. When the driver moves the hand control valve to the off position, pressure is sent to the actuator to compress the power spring releasing the brakes. This pressure remains in the secondary portion of the actuator, all the while the hand control valve is in the off position. When the driver pushes the pedal on the foot control valve, it sends air to the actuator to make an application of the service brakes. When the pedal is released, the service air is exhausted and the brakes are released. When the driver applies the part brake with the hand control valve, the secondary air is exhausted from the actuator, allowing the power spring to reapply the brakes. There are many other components within the air braking system to aid and control its operation, which we'll look at in other videos.